Hey guys, Rashid here with some new hardware to test for you guys, review, overview, or whatever you guys want me to do with it. This new item, this new phone, is 5 inch screen. It's got a 8 megapixel shooter in the back. It's got LED flash, sorry for my camera is acting up with the... It's got a front 2 megapixel shooter for Skype. It's a very fast phone. It plays all the current titles if not more uh, honestly I've got nothing bad to say about this phone except that the case that it comes with it's it's a little uh, how do I put this it's it's a little plain you know it's see-through and and that's pretty much all you've got to protect your phone. I mean, and, and this is not some ugly phone. I mean, it's it's a it's by some brand named Posh, which I've never heard of until I found this phone. But it doesn't seem like a phone that's like a bad phone. It, it looks like something I I would actually use myself. It's it's a fairly decent phone, and uh, it's priced around a hundred bucks, which is real good price for a phone this uh, magnitude. It's a quad core, as far as I know. I've got a box somewhere around here and here's a blast from the past if you guys remember this this is my most viewed item the pile astro i still got it in fact i gave it as a present to my mom and she still keeps it safe it still works fine and and you know how my mom you know how most mama moms are once you give them something it really stays stays well taken care of and this is my new uh, Lazo case and a 7000 milliamp battery on my S4 I don't know it's kinda hard to take but yeah that's what I'm shooting with right now at the moment it's, it does it's, it does it what it's supposed to do you know it does what it's supposed to do and it it's fairly, fairly um, long-lasting. The camera does way more than it's supposed to. I mean, I would never replace this as for it's going to be with me as long as I... And even longer. It's going to be in my coffin. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, it's a nice blast from the past. And I'm gonna review this uh, um, Motorola HDX 550 headset. That uh, if someone remembers that might be watching this, um, I've lost. I lost mine. I mean, this is a new one, but I've lost my original one uh, when it when they first came out. I got one. Because I just love the design, you know, the flip up, you know, style, and you know, because you can flip this thing up to talk. And if you don't want to talk to someone, you just flip it down like this. <laughs> so it's it's, it's kind of cool. I loved it. I loved the heck out of it. But then on a road trip, I kind of um, it was hot outside, and I wanted to change shirts. So I got my shirt off and uh, yeah, I don't get all hot and flustered, but yeah, I got my shirt off and I threw it in the back seat 
and my girlfriend didn't notice that I did not have my my ex-girlfriend um, did not notice that I did not have my um, Bluetooth on so we drove about 200 miles away from the gas station when I finally noticed and I noticed on my own it wasn't my ex-girlfriend to notice at all which is nothing new but enough about my girlfriend my ex-girlfriend they will come and go that's another piece that I will review currently I am single by the way first I will uh, show you guys the box that this posh shark came in it's called posh shark shark I guess is the name and posh is the brand Orion Pro I don't know what the Orion Pro is if, if, if shark is the name and posh is the brand I honestly I'm so confused but yeah um, let's try and it says SMS CPU quad core so it is a quad core CPU it's got Android 4.2.2 4 gigabyte .2, uh, ROM 1 gigabyte RAM Okay, and uh, you can download a free posh apps, whatever. I don't care about that. But here are more specs. Okay, here's this is more readable. Uh, Android 4.2, uh, 4 gigabyte RAM, 1 gigabyte RAM, quad core. What CPU is it? Um, let me see if I can zoom this in. It's, it's kind of hard doing it all with one hand. Well, let's try and do it. Let's try and focus. Focus. What core? Quad core what? Dang it. Show me what it is. I'll just, you guys are gonna have to take my word for it. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, I love taking videos with my um, uh, S4. I shouldn't move on to S5, I just do not want to, um, I love my S4, and I always will. So the CPU is, you know what we can do, I don't know why I didn't think of this at, at in the first place, we can actually do this, uh, go in the system settings, and see what the deal with this thing is okay it's android 4.4.2 .4 so it's kitkat not uh, as i thought earlier But let's see, system updates, let's see if this thing's got any system updates. Nope, no system updates, status, okay. I mean, this is a 
great phone, like a great starter phone for like someone you want to get into the Android type of uh, um, ecosystem, but you're not sure what to get him, so or her get her but I've got to say I've there's I haven't seen one downside to this phone I mean it's it's a great phone it does what it's supposed to do and then then some uh, but it's got uh, voice uh, unlock and uh, not a lot of phones come with those out of the box um, and it's got a FM radio believe it or not it's got um, you hook up your um, you hook up your um, headphones and it will actually let you listen to your songs here on FM radio. See, it says you need an earphone as antenna. Please plug your earphone. So, all you need is an earphone. So... Yeah, that is a great feature. I, I wish more phones came with that. And it's got Android Booster on there. It's it's got a great camera. It's it's just and and it's an unlocked phone. It will work on all carriers. And it's a dual SIM phone too. So you will definitely have everything and and then some you will have your you can boost your internet which I don't see why he, why you would want to do that because it's just you get you get those stupid ads and and there's no need for boosting the internet because it's because it's pretty fast as is let me see if I can make my camera. Yeah, there we go. That's how the camera is supposed to look. I got a. It's a pretty big phone. I gotta say, I got a big, fairly big hands, but it's still, you know, it's still um, to get from one point to to the next. It's still, you know, I wouldn't recommend like. Uh, I mean, to a Chinese, this probably would look like a phablet, you know, like, like a, it's, it's pretty big. It's, it's pr about the same size as the S4, uh, if not a little bit bigger, because uh, it's longer. It, it's got these bezels that are, uh, the black part, portion of the bezels are a lot uh, taller than the, ones on the S4 so but the S4 seems to make it up with the width the S4 is a little bit wider but of course these thing, these two phones uh, are in a completely different type of price range so you uh, for a value value phone uh, this phone, uh, this is my my bro's phone, and, and he uses it every day. And the only complaint he's got about the phone is the battery life. He, uh, I mean, but yeah, he's a power user, so he does use his phone more than most people actually would, because look at all the games that he's got on there. And trust me, he does play a lot of the times when he's bored he will play and he will go to social websites he will browse the web he will uh, watch YouTube videos he will do things you know to take his mind off of a lot of things that are bothering him 
that's what the phone is actually for these days 21st century and he's got a lot of these uh, phone boosters and uh, stuff like on here that he doesn't actually need because the phone is a quad core and uh, running at uh, 1.2 or 1.5 gigahertz stock uh, that is fairly uh, a fast phone you do not need any you know boosters uh, boosters are usually just uh, programs that are just trying to make your phone slower to begin with. Uh, unless there are, you know, bra uh, name name boosters, things like, you know, like that, that's something that I would trust too. But other than that, this phone only needs a wider uh, case selection. Other than that, this phone is a very, very good, good piece of hardware. And I would recommend it to anybody. I mean, I would. Rec I was the one that made my brother get it. So it's all on me. Uh, if this phone was a dud, I, I would hear the I would never hear the end, end of it. So as you see, this phone is a great piece of hardware I recommend it I actually love the just everything about this phone the way the things are integrated into it like the uh, FM um, antenna like the FM uh, receiver and um, for a phone that's in the a hundred plus dollar range that's pretty pretty darn good and considering that you can play any major game with no hiccups no lag no nothing that is I mean this is an age that I have not witnessed a phone that will do all that for that type of price come with a well, this is a sort of a um, cheap, you know, plain case that you get with it stock. But, I mean, once, I mean, I'm thinking once they get more customers that they will broaden their horizons, that they will start, you know, putting thing, more things out for this phone you know more updates and stuff like that because I've noticed that uh, uh, KitKat update was uh, available almost at the system's launch so you know I'm not uh, uh, I'm pretty sure that the uh, lollipop will be on this phone pretty soon too because this phone is uh, pretty much right now as it as it seems this is the cheapest and the most bang for the buck phone that is that is out there right now because for that type of price you can't get nothing and look what you get for a hundred dollars this phone is just five inch screen one of the problems the downside of it is uh, that it's got a little low resolution but it's got a fairly decent DPI count which is uh, uh, density per uh, uh, pixel density and and that's fairly nice and the movies look good on it and the games look extremely good on it and if it can pull off all of that and and still maintain the price point that it does i think that this phone will be the next thing you know the next big thing and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing some uh, cases for it because uh, I'm sure my brother cannot wait to see some cases coming out for it and to get some more stuff, you know, for the for the device. It's it, you gotta admit when you look at the phone, even though I'm holding it and I'm not that far from it. Uh, the phone looks amazing it it does look amazing and even this lame uh, case that it comes with still 
does not take any appeal off from from the actual phone's beauty and and this color just suits it so perfectly well I mean, it's, it's just a beautiful